Hello, welcome to the next edition of the Budget Magic. And today we have a deck I think I've been wanting to play for a bit. Uh, I hope it's, uh, hope it competes quite well. Um, it has basically, most of the money is invested in the Mimics. Um, lucky enough, I think it's, I think the price tag has come, come down a little bit on them. But they do eat up a chunk of the uh, space. So the Mimic and... Um, Yoshin Descendant, which is the main card this is built around, uh, allow us to make as many, hopefully, um, little 1-1 one -one servos that we could possibly dip make based on how much mana we have available. We have drums, so we could tap those creatures and, uh, of course, produce more mana, make more dorks. And, uh, yeah, this deck is pretty self-explanatory. It's pretty awesome. It's uh, Hopefully, it competes quite well. The one card that I wish I could fit in the deck is Heart and Scales, but you know we, you know you can't really fit everything in the deck, especially since it's a hundred dollar budget. We come in at right at eighty six dollars. So let's get into the sideboard. <clears throat> we have Damping Sphere for you know um, Phoenix. Also helps against Lotus Field. We have a Decoration in Stone as a way to for a little bit of removal. Glass Casket for a little bit more removal. We went with Lion Sash over something like Scavenging Ooze because it's also an artifact. So it could sprock um, Yoshin or as well as potentially other cards as well. So that was the reason why we went with this one over Ooze. We have Weathered Runestone <clears throat> and we have Knight of Autumn for Artifact, Enchantment Hate, has counter sub theme. And the other benefit of this, of course, is that it's more likely to get a counter, right? Because it's any permanent. So. That's a huge deal, so we could sprock this more often. <coughs> so, no further ado. Let's see uh, Yoshin Budget Magic in action. Hello, it's your host, CabBG. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Also, the bell notifications. Don't forget to check out the sweet stuff that's down in the description down below. Womp, Champion of the Parish, Passes. Play the, the planes. Play portable hole. Eat the champion. Pass the turn. Play spire. Play smith. Let's try to dig for our module. Lord of the uncursed. The accursed. Uh, My bad. Another metallic mimic. Green, white. Yoshin. Go. Attacks us. Take it. Down to 17. Tainted Adversary. Can't pay anything into it, though. Another one. Ingenious Smith. Drum. Play the drum. Pass the turret. <coughs> Gives a menace. Hits us, hits us. Take it. Emanation Module. Descendant. Emanation Module. Grow, grow. We will tap and grow. <laughs> Make the token big. No. No. Nope. Pass the turn. Plays a swamp. Gives them stuff menace again. Goes to combat. Attacks, attacks. I think I got to exchange both of them. We could easily rebuild, so that's okay. Okay. Finally decides to make the exchange. Got him to seven. Put that on green. Mimic on servo. <clears throat> put the counter. Put a counter. He scoops the whole match. We got to scoop a whole match with a budget deck. Let's get in the next. Plays an island and passes. Play planes. You. Plays a tap land. Passes. Put that on green. Automaton. You. We get to play the eight next turn. <clears throat> which would be kind of cool. And there's a good chance that he might play a land and just pay three mana to kill this thing. Yep, killed, called it. All right, that works. All right, so we will play Ingenious Smith. Unless somehow we find a drum. I guess we'll take Portable Hole. Module, no, pass the turn. Ledger Shredder, we got a, no, no removal spell. Portable Hole, I'm assuming you locked up Spell Pierce, right? Because you knew we had this. Yeah. Ingenious Smith. Discards a Phoenix. We whiff. Play Forest. 
ship the turn. Kills my bigger one. Gets rid of another phoenix. There's the second spell. He needs one more. <coughs> Treasure cruise. Gets back two phoenixes. Hits us for nine. Portable hole. Play the portable hole. Get rid of that shredder. Uh, no. Play a planes. Play sa uh, simulant simulacrum. Put counter counter. Or see, yep. Now we're going to make one. A uh, hit you down to 11 or 12. Charred, of course. Another phoenix in the yard? What the heck, man? Opt. Hits us with two. Okay. Playing a little conservative. Seems reasonable. Down to five. And we draw a flipping land. Ugh, that sucks. All right. Grow them. Make another counter. Attack, attack. Even though we're dead. Okay. Takes two. Down to ten. And we're dead on the backswing. Looking for us, we have a lot of answers. This gets three or less, so not necessarily what we need. Lion Sassage in. Non-land permits can't, cards in graveyard and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Technically works. Uh, command probably can go. Maybe a drum, a wrist car. We're not like that. Actually, we could bring in detention sphere or decoration of stones over the the eight. We're not like that. And drum, passenger. That's not a bad top deck. Play the planes. Thash. A goo. He probably has like a lightning axe in hand. Okay, eats my thash with a hazard. Play a genius smith. Take portable hole. Play the forest. Play module. Pass the turn. Redder. Okay. Did we re we revealed that we had portable hole? Confused. Put that on portable hole. Fresh car. Okay, and tap, tap, runestone, passenger, or put up a fight for being a budget deck. We have the wrong module, but we're trying. Blows up my artifacts. That sucks. We worked hard to get those. Just saying. All right, lion sash. Attack, attack. We can eat. Some cards in our yard in response to something. If he has another hazard. So pieces of the puzzle. Throws a bunch of lands in the yard. No Arclight Phoenix. Not a great start for him. We will start eating his lands. Should help. And Hall of Storm Giants. Alright. We got our one piece. So we'll name Servo. Grow the team. Go to combat. Force him to ch chomp. Pass the turn. Eats his yard. Desperately trying to find an answer to our board. I don't think much in red's going to get you there, opponent. How do you deal with Smith? It's, it's You basically need a three mana sweeper plus five extra point of damage to Smith. Okay, we will eat this Phoenix. We will eat your treasure crew so that way you... I have less cards to delve for later. Yeah, that doesn't matter. He could die. Got it. Run it back. Play as a pathway. Passes. Portable hole. Uh, we will play industry. Drum. Yeah. You could have spell pierce, but eh. See what he plays this turn. If he plays Ledger Shredder, we will smith into portable hole. He will get an activation, but that's fine. <clears throat> Chart, of course. Pitches an arc light phoenix. Passes. Lion sash. Okay. That technically works. Lion sash. Tap that for white. Eat a phoenix. Pass the turn. That was not a bad turn. If he's watching this video right now. Sorry. That was a good top deck. Does not remove my sash. Ingenious smith. Take emanation module. Play a land. Play emanation module. Put a counter. We will tap him to make a dork. 
go to combat. I mean, we're doing things. We are doing things and going places. Hit ya. And this is one of the best decks in the format right now. Of course, I might change when uh, New Phyrexia All Be One comes out. This is pretty good. We could beat one of the better decks. That's pretty solid. This rest car is going to do some work. Charter course. He needs to kill my Lion Sash. I think. Plays a tap land. He has a red source up. Oh, that's a pretty good card for the future. Uh, we will play a planes. I guess... Nah, it doesn't matter. Because this will tap for the green. Play Rishkar. Counter, counter. Okay, make some dorks. Yes. We're doing exactly what we want to be doing. Okay. I suppose I could have uh, tap one of these. Make another one, but whatever. Yes, you for five. He needs a sweeper, which could be done. He has Brotherhood and plays a tap all of the Storm Giants. What are you going to say about my board? Oh, there's Brotherhood end. We top deck a land. That's like one of the worst possible draws, but that's okay. Uh, we will target ourselves. Ship the turn. We just, this, we just need a single counter. Plus one, plus one counter to get this start rolling again. Okay. This must be Arclight Phoenix. Okay. That's us. All right. Take it. Down to 17. I still don't think I bother i could decoration of stone but what's the point i want him to have multiple on the board if i can get away with it pass the turn when are we going back to kaladash we can get some more energy counters make it an actual playable deck i want another one give me another arc light phoenix please one more arc light phoenix all right hits us down to 14 passes Ooh, that's a good top deck mimic Probably should have played that second, though. That was a slight punt. All right, kills it. That's fine. Portable hole. Should have portable hole first to get rid of the shredder. Okay, so he has an arc life phoenix in the yard. Let's see if he magically top decks. Like, uh, basically the draw three treasure crews to get him multiple arc lights. Could just turn on a hall. Okay, maybe that was, uh, maybe I should have eaten it. Didn't even think about the hall attacking this turn. See if he sees it. He does not. He's going for the Arclight Phoenix. And then again, he hits it for six. Okay, six is, he would still be a one. So, him not turning on the hall this turn delays his ability to win. Sometimes the most optimal lines don't, aren't actually ever seen. Except by your opponent. Arclight Phoenix. Oh no, okay, it is. All right, we need a way to answer this hall. Otherwise we just lose. All right, pass the turn. He does not see the line. I don't get that move at all. Blows up my board. All right, treasure cruise, draws three. Tap land, passes. Green, white, descendant. Decoration in stone, pass the turn. He is trying so hard not to use his hall. All right, chomp. Runestone. Death. All right, one and one with the deck. Let's get into the next. Ether Hub. Drum. Ague. Sanctum. Grazer. This must be Lotus Field. So we definitely need to bring in Damping Spheres. All right, we play Automaton. Pass the turn. I wish we had a way to double spell. Uh, this drum is not actually working, is it? <clears throat> Heck, like we want. There's the Lotus Field. Passes. Put that on white. Play Portable Hole. Eat the Brawl. Kind of redundant here, isn't it? If I tap him to place the Ape, what advantage does that give me? I guess that gives me a good shot to get through next turn. Alright, so we play him. Put the counters on himself past the turn. So we have two, three threes are bigger, so that's good. And then we attack with the mod, play the module, grow it. So we attack for eight next turn. So he's probably going to pay everything into the stage, copying the Lotus Field. Seems like a decent turn. Another ape. That is interesting. So what I can do is I could play ape, grow. I grow the new ape, play module, grow the 
automaton attack for nine pass the turn all right eight plus five seems reasonable this thing also could uh, hmm. maybe i should have pumped here okay cycles untapped but the thing is we might not even get another turn so tapping for okay solta solta ultimatum let's shuffle omniscience back in probably has a does he have a i mean the, i don't think these two necessarily win right now do they he does get multiple pour over page activation so with the leer okay cycles on taps okay pour over pages pour over pages pour over pages man so many pour over pages that's the one in the yard so that's a good sign pour over pages he has 14 cards in hand what do you got what sucks about this deck it has a decent chance that it just fizzles okay so now he plays omniscience okay untaps now he Cast Dark Petition. Gets back Dark Petitions. Plays Dark Petitions. Masterminds Acquisition. And you present the Wink on. Finally. All right. Took him a minute. We have Damping Spheres for this matchup. Portable Hole, probably not needed. And maybe a Runestone? We could technically let him Omniscience and it fizzles, right? I don't know. Run it like that. Uh, white play module. Goo. I wish there was a way I could draw whenever there's a plus plus one counter put on something. Then this deck would be really busted. Um, play descendant. Pass the turn. I really need a damping sphere. Like, really bad. Thespian stage. Scrying to get it. A lotus field. Or besage you. Okay. Patchwork automaton. Put the counter on the descendant. Uh, new. We will play a forest, play a automaton, or a emanation, emanation module. No, and no. Hit you for three past the turn. All right, we have a, a good shot here of making a lot of creatures and a lot of energy. Where's this hub? Pretty sweet. Okay, plays a tap land. You got a way to untap this. He does. Okay. Now the question is, can he win with a single Lotus Field? All right, blows up the board. Son of a biscuit, that sucks. All right, ouch. We'll go ahead and play that, I suppose. Pass. Can't have nice things with the budget deck, huh? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, okay. So, um, play a sad rope. I mean, Simeon, Eep. Why did... So bad, so bad. It's like, you want to call it Sad Robot, but at the same time, uh, it's not Sad Robot. It's Sad Ape. Let's, let's call it that. Uh, yes, make a token. Yes. <clears throat> that seems like an okay turn. Pass the turn. Pour over pages. Untap, untap, huh? I wonder if these lands would, would, would be better if it wasn't ETB or Scry on ETB. If it was just tap Scry 1. Probably busted, wouldn't it? <laughs> comes into play tap though i mean you get to pay four i guess and x into the blue one. Ooh, that's a good top deck go ahead and play mimic name servo and even though this turn we can't do it we will pump a counter into him no no hit ya all right he's a 10 so if we top deck anything that can give us a counter we're doing work Ah, come on! All right. Opponent. Wow. Okay. Uh, sure. This sucks. Ooh, that's not a bad top deck. Um, right. Pass the turn. Let's see what happens. He plays Ottawara. Okay, Beseju. Okay. Wow, we just can't top deck anything, can we? Ugh. Bastard. Well, we tried as hard as we possibly could for a budget deck. I feel like we pushed, made this really difficult for our opponent. I mean, he should have won turns ago, right? With the Lotus Field. And the fact that we pushed it to turn nine is pretty impressive. Zakama. Okay. Okay. I respect this. I mean, it's a dinosaur. I can't say anything. 
Okay. Rishkar. Yep, killed it. Dinosaur doing his thing. Smacks our face for nine. Man, this is hostile. <laughs> All right. Uh, pass the turn. I do wonder if we could... I think we could make Jengatha in the board. Maybe that is an upgrade we could do. Freaking Zakama. Yay! Springleaf drum. And death. Alright, so we lose to the dinosaur. Alright, so one and two of the deck. Let's get into the wrap-up. Alright, so what did we learn this week about this said uh, deck? And when the deck goes off, it's one of the coolest decks. Hands down. Uh, Jengatha probably makes a lot of sense in this deck. Um, since we can do this and um he's just an extra threat body and we probably don't need decoration stone that's uh, probably one of the worst cards so that felt seems pretty reasonable uh the ape felt okay i don't think i would play this in the in the finalized version uh, we definitely want something to draw, if possible. I don't know what. I think we want some couple Shaper Sanctuaries. Go down the other uh, decoration. And maybe a Casket. Maybe Tireless Trackers. So it does Sprock. If we draw a land, top deck of land, we get an artifact. We'll trigger this. So that, without actually spending mana... And the other positive is that we always sack a clue for card advantage. It's also a decent sized threat. Maybe something like that makes more sense. Because I'm not exactly sure. So I think that might be where I'm going to leave it. Hopefully that does not make the budget over. Um, you know, it could very well do that. Uh, I still do like Rishkar because it does allow us to tap for green so we can keep you know, making more and more one ones with module. Uh, the other thing I thought was weak. Actually, we can keep that. Uh, we probably don't need more than two of these. As a matter of fact, I think we should probably not even have it. So I think Bank Buster it makes more sense. It's aggressive. It draws cards. So... I think that's where I'm going to leave this list. Let me know down in the comments what, car what cards you guys would have considered for this list. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. These are all free ways of supporting the channel. And uh, let's get to 1,000 subs. So until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day.